Hi guys, uh, today uh, I'm gonna talk about a shortcut key uh, which is Alt equals to and it is used to actually sum up the numbers, right? So, um, so suppose you want to sum these numbers, right? Just uh, right over here, just to this next cell, right? So you know that we have a sum function, but what what if you don't want to use the sum sum function, but you just want to know some uh, you know shortcut? So there is a shortcut which is called the Alt equals to, right? So if you press Alt equals to together, you will get the sum of all the numbers above right so this is how you can do it alt equals to i'm repeating it let me write it here alt plus equals to so plus means that the combination of alt and equals to you don't have to press the plus sign right you have to press only alt and equals to together so it will give you the sum and similarly in case if you're looking uh, for the sum uh, you know like this uh, column wise uh, 43 and 424 you know horizontally so again you can press alt equals to and you see it is going to uh, you know uh, select the uh, range uh, automatically so this is how you can uh, even you can do this in one step let me show you this just select this entire range and press alt equals to right so um, I beg your pardon it is not doing it but uh, yes uh, what you can do is once it is there you can simply drag the formula down like this right so th that's the way and you see uh, we have not inserted any formula sum but it has already taken it right so here uh, that's the formula which we use actually auto sum right so in case if uh, let me write some numbers okay now if I'm going to auto sum it press this and this will be there so either you press alt equals to or you can use this option underneath this home tab in the ribbon so one and the same thing right and uh, one more thing uh, in case um, if you if you have these numbers like this and if you are wa if you want the sum to be here you know somewhere here then again if you press this option it is going to pick the numbers for you so let me come down and let me check this so again it is picking up the value so if what if if I get some number over here like this now if I try to do this let's see if we get the numbers so this range is not being picked up right because they are the blank rows so th that's that's the point which I'm trying to make is that you'll really have to be very selective on choosing the ranges if you want the sum for this entire uh, range you know of for this entire range you really have to use the function called the sum manually not the alt equals to or the auto sum right because auto sum will go to the only to the last field cell right so this is this is how you can use the sum function but if you try to use the alt equals to it is not going to select the entire table because excel will see that the last field cell was 43 because th then we have the two blank rows right so uh, that's it for now and uh, keep watching and keep uh, please do subscribe to my channel um, that's my imp email id in case if, if you're looking for excel training uh, let me know about it and in case if you have some any, any questions any doubt whether it's a vba or the excel just let me know about it right thank you so much and have a very good day bye bye